In this video, we're going to see how to modify our existing Pong program from parts uh, one through three to allow us to have simultaneous key presses. So right now, I can't move player one and player two at the same time, which if you had two people versing each other on a keyboard, it'd be very easy to sabotage one another. So you obviously want to have simultaneous key presses. So we're actually going to import a game library that allows us to have more control over our keys. So I'm going to put a comment here at the top of global saying p5.play must be enabled. Now what a library is, is it's a set of commands, just like var is a command, setup is a command, etc. And we can add libraries. So if we go to our side menu, and if we go to show all next to libraries, we can find p5.play. By checking this box, p5.play is going to give us a bunch of other commands. The one that we need allows us to do simultaneous key presses. So now that we've enabled p5.play just by checking the box next to it here and push save, we now have access to a lot more commands that we can use. Let's scroll down to our key press and our key typed. This is where we're going to have to modify our code. Instead of saying if key equals equals w and n key is pressed, we're going to change this if statement. It's now going to say if key down to capital D and then in parentheses, single quotations, actually I'm sorry, double quotations, W. And there's two close brackets here because there's or parentheses because there's parentheses for key down and then parentheses for the if. And we're gonna do the same for S. Key down. And then we're gonna do the same for key pressed. Key down. Up, oh, oops, sorry. Up, underscore, arrow. Again, in parentheses and quotations. And then key down, down, underscore, arrow. Push play. And I should be able to operate my keys just like I could before, but now I can press multiple keys at once, which gives me more control over my program and then allows you to have more players playing at a single time. 